gosh so this story right here this story right here is some juicy information okay because it's about mitch mcconnell and uh mitch mcconnell might be throwing in the towel so let's step back here for a little bit right mitch mcconnell we know currently is in a power struggle with uh president trump okay for who is the leader of this party now we know that mcconnell controls the legislation okay he controls the legislation but he is probably the most unpopular politician in the country uh definitely the gop uh at this point right and he's getting up there in age he's getting up there in age and um you know to, to be quite honest with you it, it, it does seem that trump may end up winning out on this war because at the end of the day trump has the people on his side the only thing trump has to do is to show that he can organize his own candidates and those candidates can not only win primaries but they also have to be able to win general elections if trump can do that he effectively becomes the king and the king maker of the republican party right so it seems that this is what trump is going to try to do right and mcconnell has hinted that he's going to try to fight trump right in regards to him doing that right that he's going to try to set out a strategy to try to make sure that uh trump back candidates um you know don't win primaries because he doesn't believe that trump back candidates can win general elections uh specifically in uh purple districts and states so this story of mitch mcconnell uh potentially working on an exit strategy with kentucky legislator for his him basically leaving the senate him retiring is a bomb shell story because it signals that although mitch mcconnell has publicly said that you know these are his plans in regards to you know moving forward with trump uh it also signals that he might just be ready to tap out he might just be like well i tried trump is basically running his party at this point i'm just gonna live out the rest of my life and my days you know not worrying about this type of stuff right that, that, that could be what's happening here so let's read this story because again this is a bombshell report about potentially the future of mitch mcconnell which again is going to have a huge effect on the future of the republican party so Mitch McConnell is working with uh, the Kentucky legislator on a Senate uh, exit strategy. Uh, legislation informally referred to as the Daniel Cameron election bill is moving through the Kentucky uh, General Assembly. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has compiled a short list of successors in his home state of Kentucky, preparing for the possibility that he does not serve out his full term, Kentucky Republicans uh, tell The Intercept. The list is topped by his protege, uh, State Attorney General Daniel Cameron, and also includes former United States Ambassador Kelly Kraft, uh, whose billionaire uh, coal magnet husband is a major McConnell donor, as well as um, Kentucky uh, Secretary of State Michael Adams, a former McConnell scholar. Under current law, the power to appoint McConnell's uh, replacement falls to Democratic uh, Governor Andy uh, Bashir, but new legislation McConnell is pushing in the Kentucky General Assembly would strip the governor of that power and put it in the hands of the state GOP. All right. So this is very McConnell-esque, right? McConnell is a master with the legislation, guys, right? <laughs> you guys, again, you know how I feel about Mitch McConnell. Right. I, I don't think he's particularly a good person, but he is a master politician. He's a master with the legislation. OK, he knows how to play that game. Right. And you can see that he's playing this game in his own state legislature, where he is trying to strip power from the governor, who's a Democrat, in regards to him being able to pick who's going to take Mitch McConnell's spot in the senate which signals that mitch mcconnell may not be finishing out his full term his intention may be to retire before he finishes out his term okay 
McConnell's scramble to secure his legacy comes as his position in the party uh, he effectively built from the ground up is increasingly shaky. McConnell's uh, denunciation of former President Donald Trump, even as it was uh, accompanied by a vote of acquittal and a pledge to endorse the former uh, president in 2024 if he is the GOP nominee, has borrowed calls for his censure by party leaders across the state. A candidate running in McConnell's mold would face an up uh, he'll climb through a primary in the new Republican Party, unless that is the candidate has the benefit of incumbency. The 79 year old McConnell has uh, held his Senate seat since 1985 and handily won a seventh term last November. The new legislation, Senate Bill 228, dubbed by some inside the state legislature as the Daniel Cameron Election Bill, was filed on February uh, 10, 2021, uh, during the Kentucky General Assembly's 30-day short session. The bill alters current state statute that allows the governor to appoint a replacement in event of a vacancy to the U.S. Senate. If the bill becomes law, the uh, appointment to fill his vacancy will be selected from a list of three names submitted by the state executive committee of the same political party as a senator who held the vacant seat. According to the bill, the appointee from that list will then serve until a successor has been elected by voters. The legislation goes on to list instructions on when elections take place in the event of a vacancy. So again, as you can see, that bill in Kentucky is designed to basically allow um, Mitch McConnell to handpick his successor. And guys, this is really smart for Mitch McConnell. And the reason why it is is because outside of the obvious thing of him being able to handpick his own successor, if Mitch McConnell uh, was to serve out his full term, and go up for re-election. If we're still in a position where Trump is going to try to campaign against him, right? Or that he's still very unpopular, that probably will give an opportunity to have that seat be flipped to a Democrat. Okay? So if McConnell retires, let's say two years early, and allows Daniel Cameron or you know, one of his successors to take the seat, right? And to go ahead and get in there. Then when it comes time for re-election, they don't have to worry about President Trump going after that person or that person being particularly unpopular in the party because that person has a brand new slate, even though they were picked by McConnell, Right. I would imagine that Daniel Cameron probably is not going to be as hated as Mitch McConnell is in the Republican Party at this point. So, um, again, this is a really smart move from McConnell. And I think that, you know, it, it just goes to show how much Mitch McConnell, I think, thinks ahead, how much planning he does, how much of a strategist he is uh, when it comes to this stuff. I mean, even when it comes to giving up his own job. Right. I think he, he does try to work in the interest of um keeping power within the republican party as much as he can i mean a lot of people may disagree with that but to me you know reading up on mcconnell uh paying attention to the things that he's done throughout the years i, I think the guy really does care about um you know keeping the republican party a powerful force within this country and i think that this move right here just goes to um demonstrate that that is the case right and that M mcconnell will do anything that he can to make sure that Democrats don't get any more control. And that even includes stripping power from the governor of his state, right? It's crazy how politics works. So let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.